Let's look at these new main stage patches in synth layers for piano two. And the most straightforward way that we can take advantage of them is to simply play the patches as they are. In order to do that, you need to first go into the layout and assign your hardware controllers like your keyboard by clicking on the screen keyboard, press assign, and then press a key on your keyboard. Do the same for any other hardware you have like drum pads. Press it on the screen and then tap it on your hardware. Same thing for knobs. Click it on the screen and then move the knob on your physical setup to assign those in the software. With that, we can unclick assign, press save, and then go back to edit mode. The drum pads will allow us to switch between different patches and also to tap tempo, which we'll talk about in a moment. The knobs I've set up to control volume and another parameter in one case. Let's try out this grand piano sound. Now the grand piano and electric piano can both be controlled volume-wise with this first knob. It, even if you don't have knobs, if you have faders instead, they will still respond to the same control if you assign them the same way in the layout. But this first set is set up to control the volume for the pianos. As we go to the pads, those are set up to be controlled with the second knob volume. And you can also control the brightness with the next pad or the next knob down. When we go to the bright pads, those are controlled with the third knob. And the arpeggiators are controlled with the fourth knob. Now at this time we want to talk about controlling the tempo because a lot of the effects in these sounds are controlled by the tempo and they will sync to the concert tempo. One of the ways you can change that is by tapping the tempo on this drum pad. So in there you hear the arpeggiator slow down to what I designated earlier. The reason why we have different knobs set up to control volumes for different groups is because when we go to combine them, like in these sample combos, we know exactly where we need to reach to control the different layers. For example, if I wanted to turn down the arpeggiator sound, I reach for the fourth knob. I can turn down the bright sound with the third knob. Then I'm just left with piano and pad, which I can control with these knobs. I can mix the bright sound back in and a little bit of the arpeggiator. Now let's say this is ideally what I want for a particular song. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll find a patch that works for a song and I will name the patch for that song. So I'm going to save this patch as it is right now for, uh, let's say it's for Amazing Grace. So I just pressed Command D to duplicate it and I'm going to rename this Amazing Grace. And then what I can do is export that to a folder on my computer and save it for another time. So what I'm going to do is come up here to Patch List Actions, select Save as Patch. Usually what I'll do is just pr press Command E for Export. And this is the second time I've done this. So this is already there. But let's replace that. And so now what I can do is, uh, let's say this is a different concert. So I'm setting up a new concert for a different set. So what I'm going to do is pull this patch into my list. And now I have it ready for use in that concert as well. So once you've assigned your hardware controllers and gone through and you can play some of the patches in here, and if you can get comfortable with exporting and importing patches, it's going to save you a lot of time down the road.